Hi everyone, Chris here. And I got some really great questions yesterday after I mentioned how if you watch TV and movies and count how many seconds there are between a screen change and how you can change up the, um, the shot you're doing or change perspectives to really keep things moving so you don't have something that's crazy boring. And someone asked how they could do that if they only have one camera and only have one take. Well, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, one is that you can pause yourself, rather, um, and just hold your breath for a sec, reposition yourself. Um, that kind of works if you have a neutral back background with nothing on it. Like if I were to wipe the blackboard, that could work sometimes and sort of make it look like the blackboard was bigger and you're getting at me at different angles. But another thing you can do is to pan and zoom and crop your video. So video on the screen, like if you're screen recording, you could generally blow that up and zoom in really good. But if you're recording video or have photography, you really need to watch your resolution because um, you can zoom out, but zooming in is a little tough. So if you record something really, really much at a much higher resolution than you're going to need, you're going to be zooming in to begin with and sort of shrinking that video down. Um, and what this cropping and panning allows you to do is to leave it full size and then to move it around a little bit. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's open Camtasia and oh look, I have my audio check. We don't need that. So I just took a random photograph that I had taken the other day. So let's stick that there. It doesn't really matter how long it is. I'm using a photograph because it'll use less RAM and we won't have as much craziness here. So in our window, I usually do the square videos for stuff online because it looks better in the feed. So here's our photograph. And if we want to zoom it to full size, we can, we can just make it larger here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, doing the um, command minus so that we can zoom out. And you can see that the image is much larger than our screen. And this was at a local, uh, a local bookstore the other day. And I just took the picture because I love how in Portland, so many of our stores are just like, people just bring their dogs right in and they don't even care. So you could do this for a few minutes and then move it over here for a few minutes. You could really zoom in. Obviously she's not, okay, we're gonna run out of space here. Let's crop this down. So this is non-destructive. You can just go like that and go like that and then go back to this tool and move it around. So the star of the show is clearly the dog. So we can zoom in some more. Whoops, zoom out some more. Grab the thing on the dog. Then zoom back in. So this is why I tell people always record in the highest level um, resolution you have. If you can record in 4, 4K, or even 8K, as crazy as that is. A lot of these phones even are coming out with crazy resolutions to record video. Record in the highest resolution you can because recording in that higher resolution gives you the flexibility to do things like this where you can zoom in, move it a little bit, and you can even do a pan. You can drop in an animation. I'm not gonna do that today, um, but if we, I have this thing zoomed out so much. But if we drop it in animation, we have a scaling and moving and whatnot. I'd probably do a custom for this one. To sort of, if we wanted to pan across and have the video sort of go like that a little bit, um, you just put your start and your end times in, in the properties here. And I would change the position points at the beginning and the end. That's all I would do. Um, I'm rambling. I'm completely rambling. But anyway, the underlying point is record at the highest resolution your camera can do. And especially if you're going to be producing something at a lower resolution, it gives you a lot of flexibility with being able to blow that image up and to sort of move it around a little bit. Um, the other thing is if you want to change 
positions, just pause, walk over, cut out that little middle piece and have fun with it. Obviously, if you're going to be filming somebody else, um, that stops being fun after the first time. Um, actually, it stops being fun before the first time. So, um, yeah, don't do that if you're doing something else. I forgot to tell my kid that I was recording this. But that's all I got for today. So I'm going to let you go, and I will talk with you tomorrow.